This is your boy Deontay Nelson, and today's video will be another YouTube news topic video. If you haven't already, please hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video. Hit that bell to write a subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you know every time I post a video, like the video, and follow me on Twitter. It's in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And um, in today's news video, first we have Jake Paul. Now, if you don't know who Jake Paul is, let me, get, let me tell you who he is real quick. He is a YouTuber. Um, he's one of the fastest growing YouTubers there is. He's a, a vlogger, prankster. He makes family friendly and um, just good content on YouTube. And, well, and he's also a, a Disney Channel actor. Well, he um, he does pranks on people, and some of his fans thought it'd be funny, I guess, to prank him back. And basically, what they did was they kind of vandalized the Team Ten House. I would say they TP'd it, and I'll show you. In this next um, clip, uh, the Hollywood, this Hollywood news YouTube news video channel, um, they picked up on this. They recorded footage of it, and basically, someone TP'd his house. They put toilet paper everywhere, which is a crime, and you can't go to jail for because I mean you're invading and you're damaging someone else's property. Uh, so I mean, if someone did this and they tried to do just make it a funny prank or something that is illegal and you can't do that to someone you house you don't know and i mean if if you upload that video to youtube of you doing this you could get in trouble so that's crazy and uh, i mean i feel bad for jake paul because he's not to clean all that up but i'm um, into the second topic we have source fed now source fed is a they were a big YouTube channel a, a couple months ago, and basically, from what I know about them, they went out of business or they stopped uploading videos, and they just had to call it quits a couple months ago. Well, recently, um, I don't know if they were bought out by another company or what, but they, they've returned as um, this new brand and this new, tu new YouTube channel. And a lot of people have been upset. A lot of the employees have been upset because they basically fired all the old employees and just hired new ones. And I mean, all the fans are really upset because they they just they're upset because they don't know what this is. So I mean, that's interesting. It'll be interesting to see how this goes on for the next couple of days. But in terms of the next topic, this is a more interesting topic. It comes from Phase Rain. Phase Rain is actually. He's releasing his own line of bobbleheads. He said there's going to be 2,000 of them. He's going to sell some, and he's also might give away a couple on Instagram. So that'll be interesting to see how much he's actually selling these for, and if there really is only 2,000. I mean, he probably will sell them for a good amount of money, maybe $20, 50 $100, maybe each, maybe even more. And they could be a collector's item, and people will probably resell them on, on eBay and different things. So that's cool. I think that's a cool thing for him to do. And into the last video, or the last news topic of the video, it comes from a moto vlogger. This moto vlogger, he's got around 100 and 108,000 subscribers. He's a fairly big YouTuber. His name is, R, is it RF, RSTV. He's freaking, he's crazy. Like, I mean, I was saw clips of his videos. He weaves in and out of traffic. He's reckless when he drives. It's just incredible to like watch him ride a motorcycle. Well, he is actually being investigated by the police um, because they're saying he's putting people at risk and that he is um, basically driving reckless. So, I mean, the news, local news channels have picked up on him and on his videos. They went by his house. And basically what they're saying is that the police are investigating him and trying to build a case against him to, I mean, I don't know if he go to jail or he get a ticket or what, but they're building a case on him. They're looking at all his videos. They're trying to put together a case to get him for reckless driving. And yeah, that'll be interesting because I don't know if he would get a ticket, like I said, or he go to jail for reckless driving. Maybe, I think he'd just get a big ticket, but maybe the court would say he has the latest YouTube channel because they have done things like that in the past. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with him over the next couple of days. But thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, tell me what kind of other videos y'all like to see in the comments section because I do look at the comments, and I am interested in doing some different other types of videos. 
It's me, Boy Dancing Nails. Peace.